now guys in this uh, video I'm going to show you my uh, personal duty belt setup which I use as a EDC belt an everyday uh, carry belt I'm actually uh, not a cop or a security guy but uh, simply like the look and the practical side of those white leather belts I'm not sure why I think it's maybe the strong masculine look of those belts feeling of leather but uh, yeah really enjoy wearing one of those and I do wear them quite often I'm also kind of an outdoor guy uh, love hiking, camping and stuff, so I always like to carry some uh, some personal items with me and it's much easier to have those on my belt than, uh, than in my pockets. So the belt I'm wearing here, it's actually a uh, classical US police belt, 2.25 inches wide, made of very thick and heavy leather with a traditional two-pronged silver buckle. And this is actually the, the brown version, it's worn by uh, several sheriff's deputies and rangers, which I think looks a bit more casual than the, than the black belt. But I do have the, the black version of the belt as well. Well, let me show you around a little bit what stuff I'm wearing on my belt and how this belt actually uh, works. So here on the right hand side, I just have a chain which connects my, my belt to my, to my wallet. And then uh, next to it here I have my, my personal keys. Here I have a pouch which holds my Swiss Army pocket knife, standard Swiss Army pocket knife uh, with lots of tools on it, uh, which is very practical when you're, especially when you're on your way in the, in the nature, but sometimes also during work since it has a screwdriver, pliers, scissors and everything. So then here next to it, I have a holster for a small flashlight, actually a mini Mac light. Next to it I have a, another pouch which, uh, which holds my camera when I'm outdoors, when I'm on my way in the nature also. Love photography, make photos and everything. And as you can see on the belt there are also several of those, uh, those belt loops with those silver snaps and those are actually uh, belt keepers. Uh, what are belt keepers? Well actually those belts they are not worn inside the, the belt loops of your pants since the belts are really too wide for that. If you would do that, you would also have to remove uh, all your pouches all the time. But you wear it over a regular trouser belt, over a regular pants belt, and you connect it, the two belts together with those belt keepers. And that holds the belt uh, actually in place. So on the back, you can also still see a few more of those belt keepers that hold my belt in place. Then on the left-hand side here, this pouch is actually, it was designed to be an uh, ammunition pouch. I'm using it actually for my, uh, for my smartphone. It fits exactly the size of my uh, smartphone. haven't found really a better pouch yet for a duty belt, so I'm using this actually to, uh, to carry my phone with me. Here another pouch on the, on the front. So this pouch on the, on the front, it's actually it's initially designed to be a glove pouch, but I'm just using it as a, yeah, as a small wallet to, to keep some coins or some small uh, pocket money. So let me show you a little bit, uh, yeah, how this belt actually, how this uh, this works. So I just mentioned you're not putting it in your belt loops, but you're uh, wearing it over your regular pant belt. And uh, yeah, here in the front you have the buckle to, uh, to close the belt, but it works a bit different than uh, than a regular belt. But let, let me show it to you. So here we have the the belt tip with a small belt loop here it holds the, the belt tip together. So let's show that, how that works. I need to remove this one first, actually. So here, remove this. Then here, there is actually, there is a uh, security pin. So, for extra security, so nobody can just pull off your, uh, your belt. And then, when you open it, actually the buckle actually works a bit differently than a regular belt. So the buckle actually is connected to two hooks that are, uh, yeah, here are those hooks. So you just hook it here to attach it and to remove it. So you can easily actually uh, remove the belt. As you can see under my duty belt, I'm wearing a regular pants belt. It's a uh, belt with a flat buckle. Uh, since, yeah, you don't want to have two bulky buckles on top of each other. So you best wear a belt with a flat buckle or a Velcro belt under your, uh, your duty belt. So let me show you actually, uh, yeah, this thing with the bell keepers and how you uh, re 
remove the belt. So generally, if you want to take off your belt, you just remove the belt keeper, keepers, and then you can take off the, the whole belt. So what I generally do is when I take off the belt keepers, I uh, attach them immediately to my duty belt again. So now they're still wrapped around the two belts. So I remove them and I just put them on my duty belt. So to avoid that I'm actually losing them. So let's do that for the entire belt now. So I have a, I seven of those belt keepers that hold my belt in place. So I'll just remove and put them all on a duty belt now. One more to go. So now the belt is uh, completely loose from my pants belt. Now I can just easily take it off. Just unbuckle it. And you have to hold Judy belt in your hands. So show it a bit to you what the whole thing looks like. So you can just buckle it again like this. You can easily carry it or put it on a hanger or your chair or whatever. So yeah, it's the whole thing. And yeah, and put it on again. Easy enough. Just put it around your waist. Buckle it again. As you can see now, uh, you only put it on, it's still totally loose. And that's again where those belt keepers come into place. So you just remove the belt keeper from your duty belt. You put it around the two belts again. Do that on the back side as well so the belt will be in place again and will start it will not shift around so yeah that's it now it's quite tightly in uh, in place again. Well, let me show you one more time the whole thing. So yeah, that's it. So uh, if you want to know more, if you have any uh, questions or remarks, uh, feel free to uh, to let me know, and I'll be happy to uh, to answer you.